Hey, I am still playing this game, guys. Yeah, so we're pretty much done with the arena for now. We'll come back and, and finish it off, but right now we just need to go. We have plot things to do. Oh, but wait a minute. I missed this entire area the first time. Look at this sneaky bamboo cast. It doesn't even have anything good in it, but it was hiding. And there's also a scroll stand. What? Cannibal cook... Why is a cannibal recipe in the kitchen in the arena? Large pot, 20 gallons of fresh water, three tablespoons of salt, half a cup of rose water. Hmm. Sounds tasty. Now I'm hungry. Man. Okay, seriously, why is this here? No, seriously. People flood in here to watch the arena matches. Why, why do you have a cookbook for cannibals in your kitchen? Why is that? Careful around the fire. Don't want to get scorched, do you? Oh, I see what's going on here. You want me to get burned so you can cook me up. Is that what's happening here? Want to get some Ming meat? Well, I don't think so, chef. It's not going to happen. God. I don't like this place anymore. Well, let's get going. We gotta head out to the Scholar's Garden to meet it with the princess. So let's do that. Let's just sprint through here. And clip through some people. Oh, boy. Like, why can't... They couldn't even make it so you couldn't just walk through everybody. That's great. Oh, Bioware, you guys try so hard, don't you? Well, this is it through the massive flashing door. So there's a couple places we can go in the Golden Way besides the Scholar's Garden. We don't really need to go to them yet, though, so we're going to skip them. Like, right up here, we can go into a cemetery. Look at that pop in. We do have a thing we can do in there, I think. If I'm remembering the journal entry right. But we're going to skip it for now. Do it later. Beggar's song. He must have a mission or something because he has a name. Oh, whatever. We'll skip it, too. Smash this jar instead. That belonged to somebody, Ming. What's wrong with you? Your work is... <clears throat> your parentage is below average and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. He balks at our attempts to calm him and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. The Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the Emperor himself. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe. But that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. He has refused to move a muscle until someone meets his terms. He proposes challenges we don't understand, and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned. 
But they tire of his presence, too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Several others have fallen short, despite their outrage at his antics. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, I hope you will prove to be a worthy opponent. Oh man, we got some things to do in the Scholar's Garden besides plot now. How about that? That's a good side quest though, I like it. Yep, bet you love reading. That is not the right way, okay. So the Scholar's Garden is right up this path. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta get that 17 silver. I can't just leave that behind. Need to steal everything. And up here. Oh, they're they're playing hostile inside. Well, I don't really want to see that movie, so let's just break the jar. I mean, how does that tiny jar have more silver in it than a big barrel? Evil breeds freely when so many people come together. And that's great, Yazen. Gee, this area sure looks important. I wonder if there's a side mission involving it with this script stand. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, probably not. Let's get going. So here is the Scholar's Garden. Now let's talk to the princess. I didn't expect you in your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. Of course, I could tell that just by looking at you. You have a very strong presence. As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, but I still don't believe he is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist. I was too young to know him. I was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire 20 years ago. Now it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Lee and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. Death's Hand has almost total control over my father. We must find conclusive evidence of his crimes and reveal his corruption. And I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Death's Hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. The wall was started by the first emperor, Sagacious Qian, as protection against the horse lords. The empire has long since grown past its boundaries. It is now more a spiritual monument instead of a physical barrier. Every emperor has added to it. It is a legacy that has lasted millennia. Prisoners of the Empire, hard labor reforms them, and contributing to a legacy gives them purpose. Many respected citizens once worked on the wall. I don't know much, but I saw one lift a stone no human could move. It looked immensely armored. The Lotus Assassin Fortress seems the center of production. We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting.
Have any Lotus assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tien's Landing. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The Executioner will take a real interest when you finish the Silver Round. Or, if you prefer, the Inquisitor Recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Death's Hand rules over the Lotus Assassins, so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them your name. Yes, I will have my people spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the Silver Round, the Executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Or, if you prefer, court the Inquisitor. Ask Scholar Don Gao in the Scholar's Garden about him. I hear Don Gao is closer to the Assassins than he should be. I will wait at your flyer. Or, I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps we should, uh, discuss how closely we will be working together? A wise preference. No offense intended to your amusing companions. What? She stole my note? What? Come on. How did she do that? She just like snatched it out of my pocket or something. So Silk Fox, party member. But none of you saw that coming, right? No way. You didn't see this coming at all. Yeah, so... Silk Fox, she uses a longsword just like Dawnstar. But her support style isn't as useful as Dawnstar's. She just deal more damage with punching and kicking. But we'll use her. She's new. We should use her. We have almost every party member now. We're only missing a couple ones. Enigmatic as she is beautiful, but you can never see her face, so take our word for it. Well, you saw it once, but come on. Don't remember what she'd look like. Well, look who we have here. There's no princess to save you this time. Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Don't look at me. I can't do anything right now. Not like this. We'll teach you to insult a guard of the Imperial City. Long sword. Oh, you guys are gonna get murdered. You see, it's funny because the princess is right there, but she can't do anything, you see? It's a very amusing situation we found ourselves in when we kill these people. So we just killed some guards. Um, that's probably a bad thing. It's probably against the law. I'm just assuming that murder is illegal. So there's lots of things in this area, but we can't can't do anything. Can't smash anything or take anything. Oh well. Let's just continue exploring the Scholar's Garden, because there are some more things in here. Like a scroll stand. But this one doesn't have things to read, it has a configuration in it. So we can head back to Lord Laos Furnace at some point and do that. There's lots of scholars in here that have names and we can talk to them, but we're gonna skip them because they don't really have tremendously vital things to talk about. There's a focus shrine, though. Don't really need that to... Oh, oh. Oh, Xbox 360. Oh, uh, that's... <laughs> uh, better than KOTOR. God, that is so interesting. So you can chat up all these scholars, but they don't really say anything that... Well... They talk about things. As people do when they talk. 
none of it really matters to our mission. Let's say, I remember us having a bounty that we're supposed to find. But, oh, I forgot to talk to Lady Rento. Oh, well. We're supposed to look for a man named Creative Yukong. Well, I have a feeling that he's hiding here. Just a gut feeling. And up. Oh, there's that outlander. We can deal with that a little later. But let's see if we can't find anybody in the Scholar's Garden that's just a little out of place. Uh, Scholar Kong Yu. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you're not here to pester me. I'm a very busy, important, and educated man, you know. All manner of studies. The history of dramatic systems, applied theology, and, um, celestial integration. All of these are vital pursuits of knowledge. Not that you would understand such lofty matters. Well, you see, drama can be broken down into several systems, and I study the history of those systems over time, how they've changed, and that sort of thing. Well, there's the new system, of course, but everyone knows that. Then we have the um, old system, which, as you may surmise, is no longer in use. That's a brief summary of my latest work, at any rate. Oh, it's all very complex, and I really don't feel like describing it to you at any length. That's how you know I'm a scholar, you see. An unwillingness to share all the information I have. Too large a subject for your mind to comprehend, I'm sure. Well, it's the application of the study of theological things, isn't it? For instance, knowing about spirits and then finding a use for that knowledge. Well, no, not really. This is the study of applied theology, not the application of studied theology. That's something else entirely. Of course not! I'm... Ah, oh, dread. This isn't working at all. How did you know? You're here to hunt me down, then. Lord Rento has it in for me, and I figured it would come to this. I don't suppose running would do me any good. I was unjustly accused. I simply petitioned Lady Rento for some silver to support me as an actor. Patronage, it's called. She agreed, but her husband flew into a rage when he found out, and now I have a death sentence on my head. It's not fair. And if you were a decent person, you'd help me get out of this city instead of taking me in. It's the only way I'll get clear of Lord Rento's wrath. You need more proof than my pathetic attempt to pose as a scholar? How about the fact that Lord Rento was out of town when I built him? Not that anyone but Lady Rento will confirm that for you. Still, it should be apparent that I'm not some great confidence man. We should go see Captain Sen right away if you're sure. Is now a fair time to go down to the gate to get me out of here? I understand. Attend to whatever else you had to do. And if you're still willing to help me, come back and see me. Yep. So I guess we're gonna help him out. That sounds like an open palm thing to do. But first, there is this matter of the, the Outlander. So let's take care of that first. And then we can help Creative Yukong. 